Um, I just had someone ask about creating multiple password protected pages. So I thought I'd make a video and share with everyone. So basically, the reason that you might want to use um, password protected pages, there's, there's many different reasons. Um, in this case, this client has multiple vendors or partners that they want to be able to share information with, but they want to be able to track um, you know, who is going to those pages and make sure that it's, it's kind of monitored and, and they can tell how often someone's going into the pages, using them, etc. So all we have to do is come into the pages go into um, your not linked section and there are a couple of different ways that you can do it if you want to have a partners page where someone can actually hop on and they click the partners button and then they are taken to kind of more of a, a general login page you can certainly do that there's an example of another client that i did this with so in this case this client um, has several different partners we created one basic partner page with a uh, logo image for each of these partners and then when the partner comes let's say that I work for Catholic Mutual Group I'm going to click on this and I will be taken to a password protected page just for that client so in this case you can you would basically make a not linked blank page called partners you would not password protect this one it could be clients whatever you want to call it and then you would simply just come in and start either typing their names so client one client two, et cetera, where you can put in their logos. And all you would do would be just to highlight and link this to their password protected page that we're going to make right now. If you do it via image, then you're basically going to put in their logo. So I'll just randomly find something here and add it. And then you would go into the design section and you would here connect to their password protected page in this manner. So those are the two ways you could do it if you wanted to do um, a basic login page where everyone could go and land. Otherwise, you can create not linked pages that the general public is not going to see on the site, but you can share those links directly with the clients. So here is first one. I'm just gonna call this one client one. Now I've got this page, I can put everything that I want on this page just by creating a standard um, you know, page like we normally do. But then if I go to the settings wheel for this page, I can come down here and say that I want to add a password. So let's say my password is all caps Jen, and then I say save. So you'll see that my URL slug for this page is client one right here. So when I direct people to that page, I'm going to be sending them to jenmaher.expert slash client dash one. And that's going to take us to this page. So you'll see that the password, the page is pro password protected. And on this case, the password is Jen. When I type it in, I am now taken to that page. I can continue to do that for all of my clients and assign different passwords to each and every one of them. So client two, maybe their password protected page is going to be, we'll make their password Maher and save. So now I can share the link directly to the genmaher.expert client two page and their password is going to be all caps Maher. And I would literally just copy and paste this to share to them so that they can access this page. Now, you can also, if you notice that my lock screen was designed, so when you go into the design area, you can design the lock screen. So we only get one lock screen for the entire website but you can um, completely customize it. I keep mine pretty generic, but I have password protected pages for all sorts of things, for my nerds, for my clients, for my uh, courses that I'm doing. And I just have the passwords be a different password for each and every page, but I keep this obviously, I only have one um, lock screen, so it's designed to be just a little bit more generic. You can change your layout of the page, you can obviously add your branding and text. You can just kind of follow along this area here. 
um, to completely customize. The more images you add here, you can actually make a slideshow, which is kind of fun. And then of course you can change your styles and fonts and colors so that it is branded with your site. So I hope that helps. I love password protected pages. They're a really great way to um, keep some information kind of to yourself or with, with the people that you really want to share it with. And honestly, it actually kind of makes people feel special too if they have their own you know, password to get in and get access to some, some different information. So I hope this helps. Thanks.